We were asked to get the people who didn't like Halo, didn't care about Halo, or didn't know about Halo, to buy Halo 3, a futuristic humans versus alien science fiction video game. So we changed the question from, how do you market a video game, to how do you honor a hero? To do that, we created a fictional museum of humanity that commemorated the battle between mankind and its alien enemy. Its centerpiece was the John 117 Monument, a real-world diorama that documented a historic battle in which Master Chief heroically turned the tide of war. Filming it for television and cinema was our first step to make people believe. Next, online, we provided an interactive fly-through of the entire John 117 monument, putting visitors right in the middle of the fight. They could learn about our enemies and hear first-hand stories from the men who were there. And to make it all the more real, we created a fictional four-minute documentary about the making of the John 117 monument itself. Now people were starting to see Halo as a story with real emotion and Master Chief as a hero who personified courage, duty, and sacrifice. And Day, Halo 3's $170 million day beat records set by Hollywood champs Spider-Man 3 and novel Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, moving Halo 3 from being the biggest launch in video game history to being the biggest launch in all of entertainment history. Halo 3 had become more than a game, it had become a worldwide cultural phenomenon. All people needed to do was believe.